guys, this is your host Seishu. Welcome to another edition of Tiffin Box TV. I'm with Sarah Lieberger, who's a photographer and a, and a business mentor uh, and a life coach, perhaps even uh, in Connecticut. She's a friend of mine. She's also going to be speaking at Inspire, and she's coming to Inspire as a speaker. And but this is not the first time she's coming to Inspire. And so I thought, who, you know, why why don't we just jump right in and say, hey. Sarah, what's what's up with coming back to Inspire? You know, this is my fifth time coming to Inspire. I fifth absolutely, time. yeah, I absolutely Holy. love it. It's hard to explain. There's so many conferences out there for photographers and creatives, but this one is completely different. And um, it's true; it, it does feel like a retreat. But at the end of the day, it's it's like the best form of community and networking that you could possibly get in a small environment with people who are either complete strangers, some people who maybe you've only met a handful of times and others you've known forever. Sure. But it's super intimate in the sense that you really get to know others outside of just our careers. You really get a feel for who people are as individuals, what drives them, what they're passionate about, and you build upon that. I mean, we're humans after all. We're more than we're more than just photographers and I love that this one conference is able to bring everyone together and connect you in a completely different way. Sure. Well, that's a that's a fantastic answer and I think it it comes from somebody who's actually been to this conference multiple times. So you've actually been able to, you know, see it again and again and again and yeah. and really experiencing uh, you're coming back as a presenter and a speaker this year. Uh, what is your topic going to be about? What are you going to be presenting to us? Sure. My topic is publish or perish. <laughs> and the whole premise of that is that as photographers and creatives, we generally hate to blog. We hate to yeah. talk about ourselves. We hate to write or put ourselves out there in an authentic and vulnerable way because it's kind of scary sometimes or it just feels like such a chore. Mm -hmm. You know, we're artists, so we like to create. We don't necessarily love to do the hardcore business side of things. And for me, this publishing component is really about marketing. And at the end of the day, we all need to attract new business, make a profit, and we also have to position ourselves in our own communities as the expert in what we do. And so that's what this publishing is all about. And it's using your blog and social media to get all of that across to your potential clients and ideal clients out there. You are singing my song. <laughs> Good, this, this finally. Is, this is exactly what I've been telling people one-on-one. -on -one. I, 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 you know, this mindset has to change, Sarah. People have to change where in our industry where they think that putting, you know, 20, 30, 40 even pictures from a wedding or a portrait session is blogging it right. isn't it isn't it is blogging but at the same time it's only going halfway i think you know sure. i think people need to understand that. i'm so glad you're coming out to to talk to us about that um indeed there's no better way to express yourself than in words and we're using that right now right we're sure. using words to to really have a conversation a dialogue and i think this is what i think most photographers miss out on on their websites is that writing those 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 deeply held beliefs out and we've we've thank thanks to jeff yokum uh you know who's who's our mentor he's uh, you know who's, who's taught us how to really express ourselves using our three words things like that and, you know those things are important for our clients to see because then when they resonate with them boom you've got exactly happy things happen to you because sure. it's a win-win I think when you post pictures alone, though, what happens is that, you know, the client sees pretty pictures, no doubt. They know that you're a great photographer, but they don't want to understand who you are. Sure. Right? And there's so many photographers out there, as right. everyone knows right now. Sure. There's a sea of photographers in every market out there. Right. So they can see pretty pictures on any website, on any blog. What they can't do is resonate with you and connect with you right. unless you're speaking to them. Right. And yes, our way of speaking, uh, you know, for some people is either like you through a video of this sort, but not everyone does that. So the best way to do it then is to blog and to write. Right. And, and don't get me wrong, I have been doing this for a long time and I was a reluctant blogger. <laughs> and I did not like to put myself out there. And I was one of those people who kind of 
hid behind my online presence. I hid behind my name, didn't really want people to figure out who I was or what I was all about because it felt safe. Right. But, uh, you know, we don't really get anywhere in life from being safe. You know, we, it's time to step out of our comfort zones and embrace new things. And um, this whole idea of marketing through content marketing, mm -hmm. it's a really big buzzword right now. And I'm, I'm sure you've heard it. And a lot of other marketers out there are following along the content marketing yes. sphere. And they're jumping on it and they're taking off. And, um, you know, it's, it's something I've embraced and I've seen more success with it than I could have ever imagined. And I launched a new website recently for my new brand only a year and a half ago. I went from having zero traffic, no one following my website, no one reading anything because they didn't know it existed. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even bring along my old blog post. I started from scratch. Wow. And yeah, and it was, you know, it was taking a leap, but um, I needed to start, start over. I needed to start fresh. So I launched the new brand, launched my new website, and already, you know, and this is something every photographer works towards, is getting higher ranking on Google. Sure. I'm already in my top one and two pages for what I do, for family photography, for my county, and throughout the state, only because I blog. I pay zero dollars for advertising. There you go. Yeah. I don't do anything else but blog and then consistently push everything through social media using my voice and it's worked. So I want to give other people those secrets that have worked for me in a year and a half right. of just sticking with it and being very consistent. Right. I think, I think th there's another point I just heard you say, uh, it, it is going to take some time. It is mm -hmm. going to take effort and work. Uh, yep. It isn't an overnight thing. You, no way. <laughs> you don't, you don't post something and you just say, Good luck. Uh, someone's going to call me tomorrow. It doesn't happen. Uh, you know, I've even with Tiffin Box, you know, if I push a, a, a blog post out uh, on social media, I have to nurture it, make sure that everyone that I know should really be reading it or listening to it or whatever is actually checking it out. So, you know, there's a lot of a lot of things that happen on the back end that sure. most people just just don't even know about it. And so I can't, I'm so glad you're coming to do this. Um, I, I've just read a, a post uh, by Don Miller. I don't know if you know who Don Miller is. Yeah. Uh, and the post is how vulnerability can skyrocket your business success. Uh, and it's really about the same idea, you know, that if you're putting yourself out there, you're going to win. You know, sure. and, you know, this idea of closing it off, keeping secrets and not really sharing it with anybody, mm -hmm. you know, you're going you're going left while everybody else is going right. You know, so. Right. So, right. Um, thank you so much, Sarah. I really, you know, this is exciting. I didn't know this was, this was going to be a topic. So <laughs> it I'm is. like, oh, yeah, I'm going to be sitting and taking notes for sure. Good. I hope you're there. Thank you. <laughs> indeed. Indeed. Um, so I will see you. It's going to be, you know, in a few days. Uh, it's uh, February 9th through the 11th in Portland, Maine. It's taking place in the Westin in Portland. Beautiful oh, town. Yeah. It's going to be cold, but hey, you know, oh, we're yeah. all going to be together. We're, we're used to it. Yeah, we're we used to it. <laughs> Bring a lot of chapstick, a lot of gloves, lots of... Oh, yeah, and get ready for some lobster rolls or whatever else. I can't wait. Sure, absolutely. Hey, thanks a lot, Sarah. You're so welcome. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Take care. Bye-bye.